how to repitch MIDI notes quick and find the right drum note pitches in Ableton Live and automate those changes. Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrummer.com. I quickly want to show you um, one solution on how to quickly find the right um, values for setting those MIDI notes up, MIDI notes pitches up. So I have a general MIDI drum map um, and this follows the general the general MIDI um, standard for where drums should like on which slots drums should sound. So for example, on a C1 and MIDI note number 36, we are getting this um, kick drum sound. So this um, should help a little. So for example, if I route in my um, SX here now, I can. <laughs> I can hear that I can't hear anything. So um, this is sending out the, the the presets on here is sending out different MIDI notes values than I need for my different slots here in the drum rack to trigger in the drum rack. So what I can do now is I could use this um, MIDI note tuner here. So for example, um, I turn this on and I already have a few things set up. So first of all, I want to, let's switch, switch them all off quickly. So first of all, I want to detect the note I'm sending in. So what I'm going to do is I press on one. So I want to the first slot on this MIDI note tuner to listen. I now hit my um, pad and I'm getting um, the input and I can set the output. So as I knew from before, my bass drum C1 this is a note I want to get. I can set this here. So maybe if I want to set this to the snare drum, I can have a look in the kit. Snare drum is on the third field. So the third field, it's C1, C sharp one, D1. So um, I can have a look here on the drum monitor as well. So it's a D1. So maybe let's set this pad to D1. Okay, so and now this is set, so I can save um, those different presets here, give them a name and recall those via of like in, in one Ableton Live set, I could have different MIDI notes mapping um, from the SX or any other um, electronic drum controller sending in MIDI note pictures. So here's one thing which is like, you, you might say now, well, actually, well, well, Toby, you can change the MIDI note pitches on the SX itself. Yes, you're right. So let's quickly have a look here and let's maybe have a look into what issues are coming with that. So let's select uh, a kit maybe up here just to make sure we are not messing around with stuff in the, in the beginning. So if I go to menu and if I go to kit edits in the top obviously um, under kit edit 2 I can go to kit MIDI enter and here I can set all those different values so for example if I hit this pad here and let's say I want this um, to set to a tom sound or maybe let's say I want to set this one to a snare sound as well. So um, from before we know like uh, the snare should be on D1. So that's our um, thing here. So if I put in, um, it's now currently on F sharp one, it's a little bit uh, small, I guess. So you can't see this. So if I set this to D1, you now can hear it's not playing a D1 in Ableton language, it's playing a D0, so an octave below one. Um, <laughs> and this is really something where I would say like, well, actually Roland, um, it's a little weird because on uh, some of your drum kits, it's actually, um, if I recall that right, on some of your modules, the numbers match up. Here they don't match up. It's not a big issue as long as you now follow the numbers. So as we can see here, we getting number 26. If uh, we have a look again on the menu and go to, sorry, not to side stick, we want to go to acoustic snare, we get the D1 and we get a number here as well, which is actually number 38. So we have a number display on here as well. So it's saying 
26 and d1 so i want to go now to 38 38 d2 and now I get the snare drum sound in here. So this is showing me this monitoring as well, which sounds I'm getting in. So if I'm um, turning this off, I can see all the different note numbers I'm getting in here and then quickly remap those if needed, store those via the MIDI note tuner. So the MIDI note tuner is a separate device but the general MIDI drums monitor is available as part of a full pack of um, different devices for um, controlling Hyatt, um, open, closed sounds, etc. And for scaling your Hyatt pedal to the right values you need as well. So this whole pack is, um, is a pack of Max for Life devices. You will need Max for Life for that, which is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought as an add-on towards Ableton Live Standard. You can as well always get the free um, Ableton Suite trial, which lasts three months um, and you can save and store everything. So it's a good way to try out if those things are something for you. So if you're interested in my pack, um, please follow the links in the video description below.